Like that? Other home, other home, other home. Gotta get back to Sindri's and figure out how to save Father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angrabota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days? I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Oh! <laughs> 
Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Call your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe, for the moment, you're of more use to me. A pleasure to see you again. <sighs> Bradnifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. What is it you want? I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up.
If you are still bound, how will we travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. Ain't going nowhere without this. Sure. Where would you mug spouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you did. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this point we're back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Because last I heard tell, she was oh. running with that beef wit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moonful hind shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Thimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering. Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falcon! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limited. <laughs> Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again, as soon as I was exiled?
pretty sure there's loot you're missing. If and you want to hunt around some. <laughs> stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one son again. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now I take some of the ball for that on account of walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my... ...to find yourself talking to your brother. Maybe... Wolvers, everyone shut your gobs! One of them hairy-ass bastards! Here comes the boom! Oh. said between you don't have to be the last word. Hold up! If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours. 
big guy. Are your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <clears throat> Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, oh, oh. No, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you... Speak in her voice. It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that? Crusty hag. Oh, can it, blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stitch you. Oh, up. are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Uh, Brock? What? Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. I'm pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Okay, well, well then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. Oh, I'm afraid. Now that the distractions are out of the way, I have words, if you would hear them. Speak them. With anger you feel for your brother, 
I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. Mentioned already you're taking his side? I am not taking no. his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. wonder I've had such difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about them. I've made enough of my own faith.
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. I shouldn't have asked. We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. 
In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace. <laughs> All those times I found you. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Treya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all!
I used to f We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this? The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. <laughs> I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made.
These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. <laughs> Considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was... ...can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Ah! Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against faith, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. That torch is trapped under the bramble. You need to free it.
Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. <laughs> I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. 